all five former Memphis police officers who were fired for their involvement in that deadly traffic stop of Tyree Nichols. They have been charged with second-degree murder. They also face multiple other charges, including aggravated kidnapping, and are currently in custody in a jail in Shelby County, Tennessee. Nichols' family attorney says the 29-year-old was beaten for three minutes after he was pulled over on January 7th and died three days later, sparking outrage within the community. Joining me now, ABC News legal analyst and managing partner at the Cochran firm, Shauna Lloyd. So, Shauna, first of all, your reaction to the charges. You know, I'm not surprised to see this level of charge because when we were looking at what actually took place, how long this beating occurred, and how quickly the death happened following this beating, I think that these are the appropriate charges. And the deadly arrest. It happened this month. I mean, are you surprised to see things moving so quickly? I mean, all five former officers already in custody and facing second degree murder charges. That I find very surprising. Typically, when we see these officer involved shootings, we see them being suspended without, with, or with pay for a period of time pending investigation. So to see that they've already been fired and are already arrested, I find that this is moving at very quickly. Wow. Well, we are going to hear from the DA, apparently, and attorneys for these former officers this afternoon. What are you going to be watching for? What do you want to hear? I want to hear what all they have as far as evidence, right? We have the body cam that we're going to be looking to see, hopefully. We're going to be looking to see other evidence that they had that they were very much aware, the violations of, of the protocols and standards of procedure, because this was clearly an excessive use of force. So we're looking for the, that type of detail and nuances. So, you know, you mentioned the, the body cam. You know, what goes into making that decision? Whether to make it public? When yes. In order to make the body cam public, you know, there's a bit of a balancing act because obviously it is central to the investigation. However, most police departments do want transparency. So typically what they're going to do is make sure that they've had all their statements have been taken, they've interviewed all of their witnesses prior to releasing the body cam footage. But they want to make sure that they're doing it in a quick manner as well because they don't want the general public to feel as though they're not being transparent or they're hiding any additional information. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.